Hey YouTubers, Indri here, back again with Super Mega Baseball 3. This is game 5 of our custom franchise. We are 3-1 as the B-Wolves. Last time we beat the Heaters. And today we're on the road against the Buzzards. I did move the Ego rating up to 35, so bumped it up 5 more. Since we had such a lopsided win on 30 last time, <laughs> felt like that was fair. So let's uh, get started here. I've already simmed all the CPU games, so we're ready to get to ours. And it looks like our pitcher Bender is going to have his second start of the year. So it does look like the, these custom leagues automatically set up a five-man rotation for you. So that's pretty neat. And we're going to be at the Shaka Sports Turf Stadium, which is kind of an interesting place. And here we are. Hanley Dexteras will lead off for the B-Wolves. Erlang Elwood is pitching. He's got a 13.5 ERA. <laughs> that is not good. So it might make it uh, a little interesting for him today. Hanley Dexteras is batting 500 so far on the year. But he is the first out of the day. Billy LeBoinka also batting 500. And he is going to be out. Put, put out to first. Buster Biggs. 545 batting with four RBIs. He hits that one basically to the first baseman. He'll run it out, and that'll be the end of the top half of the first inning. <laughs> Buttons Bunterson will be the leadoff man for the Buzzards. And Bender has a, a zero ERA. He picked, pitched a shutout in his last game with nine strikeouts, so... Uh, he is the ace for the the uh, B-Wolves. See if he can continue that today. That was a great pitch right there. This one looks like it's going to be a little low. Hit to Torrens. And she will make the put out to first. One out. Mario Mustachio. Another great name. A little bit outside. Long throw for Banks, but does make it. Put out to Kingman at first. Ham Slamus. <laughs> uh, great name. Take strike one. And Bender with another good pitch. Got to fight it and it will, goes foul. Low pitch. And Banks can make a play and makes the put out. And that will end the inning. And we'll go on to the top of the second. Kobe Kingman will lead us off. 583 average. Fouls the first pitch off. That one goes outside. Ball was a little high and Kobe got under it a bit. Looks like it's going to be caught in center field and is. That is out number one. Gina Torrens up, batting 417. And she just didn't have the power behind that one. That one also is caught in center field for out number two. Magic Moore. He is batting 333 on the year. Hits that one right to the shortstop. And he will be at it first. 
Nothing doing for the Bee Wolves in the second. And we will go to the bottom of the second with the buzzards ordered Jacques Often. <laughs> He's only batting 167 so far this year, but he does have a home run. Sure, I agree with the umpire on that one. Wow. Got a little bit of a duel going on right now. Until that pitch. That is the first out, but still pretty good at bat there. Joseph Trunk now up. He is the first baseman. Batting 300. And I think Torrens is going to make a play. Yes. Caught, pop up in the infield. That is out number two. Thurman Colt, the center fielder up for the Buzzards. He's a 375 hitter. And that's strike one. Boink. Can he make a play? I think that's going foul. Yep, that is well out of his reach. Another foul ball. Banks is making another good play today at third. Catches that liner. And we'll go to the top of the third. Neither team doing a whole heck of a lot so far. Nice hit. That'll get down for a single into left. Johnson Swanson. Batting 500. Horrible pitch to swing at. Ooh. Not sure about that previous pitch, but uh, it was called strike. 0 and 2 the count. Had to chase that one. It was a little too close to the zone and popped out. Harley Bender. One of the pitchers on the b Wolves who doesn't have a home run or a 1,000 batting average. Looks like he's going to have a zero batting average. Continued. Hanley Dexteres back up again. 0 for 1. His first time up. And I thought he was going to loop that into right center field, but it got too far under it and popped it up, and that's the out. So, bottom of the third, Dano Yoshida, the right fielder for the Buzzards up. He is batting 222. Takes strike one. That is a foul ball, which is probably good for the B-Wolves. Another foul. Popped him up, but foul. Oh, struck him out with a cutter. Rolf Borgnar. Now that sounds like somebody who can hit a baseball. I guess. <laughs> sounds powerful. Let me put it that way. 
Sounds like he's about to go like Viking warrior on this baseball. And slider. Banks catches it. Out number two. Pitcher Erlang Elwood. It's first at bat. Hits it pretty hard, but into center field, and Magic Moore is there to pick it up for out number three. And we are going to the top of the fourth. Billy LeBoink is going to lead off the B-Wolves in the fourth. 0 for 1 on the day. Not sure he's going to beat that one out. No, he's out at first. Ball just kind of died there in the infield, but they were able to make the play. Buster Biggs, 0 for 1 also. Too high for ball one. And got under that one as well. And that one's going to drop, though, between the second baseman and the center fielder. So a base runner for the B-Wolves. Kobe Kingman up now. 0 for 1 also on the day. Hits that one hard. I don't know if it's got a chance. No, at the warning track, out to. And the runner will have to trot back to first. Gina Torrens up now. Hits the pitcher. Makes it to first. Don't know what the condition of the pitcher is. He is leaving the game. <laughs> Erling Erwell, Elwood. He is hurt. Neat commonly. <laughs> it's coming in with a 54 ERA. See how that works out for them. And almost got away from the catcher. That is going to be a base hit, I believe it is. B-Wolves are now in a good position here. Base is loaded. Bertha Banks coming up. There are two outs, though. And that is going to be a base hit. That is going to score a run. B-Wolves finally on the board. And Johnson Swanson coming up with the bases loaded. And unfortunately, he continues to struggle with men on board. And nothing else comes out of that. So, But we do get on the board. It's the first run of the game. One to nothing. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Buttons. Bunterson is back up again. The shortstop. Bender's still working on a no-hitter into the fourth inning. And fair ball, nobody got it. I am amazed. Not sure what happened there with that. Very unfortunate turn of events. Beavles have that one run. And really can't afford to be giving up anything else. Struck him out. Him, slam us back up. Excellent curveball. Banks this time 
make sure she's under the ball and tries to catch it instead of just watching other people go by. <laughs> Two outs now, and that is going to hook foul. Strike two. Struck him out. Cutter in the top corner. Meat common, commonly still on the mound. It's already brought his ERA, ERA down to 36. <laughs> but he has got to face the opposing pitcher, Hurley Bender. A true pitcher's duel here. And Hurley Bender. Hits a base hit. We have a lot of luck with the B Wolves pitchers also taking their turns at bat. Hanley Dextera is now up. That looks like it's going to be high. Nope. It is caught by Bunterson. Great play. Billy LeBoink. Strike one. Let that one go by for ball one. Hits that one hard. Going to be caught by Colt. Two outs now. Still have a runner on first. Buster Biggs. One for two on the day. He had a single on his first at bat, I believe. And he just got another hit. And they are going to put the brakes on. Came up with that a little faster than I thought they were going to. Kobe Kingman has a chance to get some more runs here. Almost hit by the pitch. Manages to get out of the way. Ball two. Oh, he hits a a monster shot. Does does not make it to the And he just pulled off a triple as they were trying to get the runner at home out. Great play all around. Two run score. I believe that is the second triple on the year for Kobe Kingman. And now Sebastian Morrow is going to come in for meet commonly. And an almost the same result. A good hit ball, but she just got it for out number three. Three runs on eight hits. Bender is pitching a one-hitter, going into the bottom of the fifth, trying to put it away. Joseph Trunk up. He is 0 for 1 on the day. Hmm, ball one. Very close, though. Swings on a curveball. Banks doesn't make a very good play and the, watches the ball go past her at third, so now there's a runner on first. One and two the count. Struck him out. Needed that out. Yoshida up now. Bender with strike one. Oh, the boink. 
he did make a good play to get to the ball, but it did not get caught. So it did drop in. Looks like we're going to have runners on first and third. Rolf Borgnar is back up. Strike two. Man, just back and forth, back and forth on this one. Hits a shot. I think Moore is going to get it. And throws to the wrong base because we forget the controls again. Runner tags up. Sebastian Morrow. Morrow. What is this like the fifth pitcher? Spitz. <laughs> oh, this is a pinch hitter. Spitz McKinney. All right. Sure thing, Spitz McKinney. Three to one. One more out for the B-Wolves is all they need. And he's caught by Biggs. Great play. B-Wolves win. Excellent play in the outfield to finish the game. Let's look at the final totals. Three runs on eight hits for the B-Wolves. One run, three hits for the Buzzards. Here are the stat lines. And... Bender will get the win, his second of the year, commonly. Elwood actually takes the loss, but commonly had a kind of a rough outing there, too. And our players of the game, Hurley Bender. Five innings pitch, three hits, an earned run, five Ks. Got his second one of the season. Kobe Kingman with a big hit, two RBIs with a triple. And Bertha Banks, two for two with an RBI. Pretty happy with that performance. And that was after moving the ego rating up, so we may do it again. So it looks like we'll be at home for the next game against the Saw Teeth. So we'll see you guys back for that game hopefully very, very soon. Thanks for coming along. And until then, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.